But first, it's a masterpiece of Victorian engineering that still plays a vital role in connecting Wales and England by rail. But the Severn Tunnel is currently closed to trains as part of a major scheme to replace the seven kilometres of track. Well, our reporter Mike Griffiths has had special access to the project and uh, is near the Severn Estuary tonight. Mike, uh, tell us more. Well, Jonathan, just over our shoulder is the Prince of Wales Bridge, the second Severn crossing. Itself an incredible work of engineering, but beneath our feet is the Severn Tunnel, operating since the 1880s, but needs careful care to keep it operating against some considerable challenges. We've been to take a look. This is not a typical way to travel through the Severn Tunnel. We're on board a special vehicle designed for engineers working round the clock to replace miles of rails, sleepers and equipment. We make much of the journey on foot, past work already completed and work still to do. It's an engineering marvel and how they built it in Victorian times it is an incredible feat of engineering. It's 7,000 metres long and for many years was the longest tunnel in Great Britain. But you're right, it does take care and attention. Um, we've got a number of different things going on, on in this tunnel at any one time. We've got a 25,000 volt power distribution system above my head, that's the powers of the trains. We've got the track railway system below me here, drainage, and we've got signalling equipment. And obviously, the, the, the structure of the tunnel itself. So there's an awful lot of things going on here and um, it does take a lot of inspection and a lot of care to keep the railway safe and operational down here. Whilst the work's underway, passenger trains have been rerouted. Network Rail says the sheer scale of the work means a total closure of the stretch is the only option. Typically we renew the track down here every 10 years. The line that we're stood on now that's being renewed now is the down line from Bristol to South Wales. The up line from South Wales up to London is that line there. Um, so eight miles of railway, we renew that every 10 years. That's quite a logistical undertaking. We can divert trains into England via um, the Severn Estuary, round via Gloucester. It's maybe a 20 to 30 minute diversion. So we have actually got two routes into England that we use now. And I am grateful to passengers for bearing with us while we do this important renewal work. Um, but we are running trains every day from South Wales to London via the, um, via the diversionary routes. Carrying out a project like this is a triumph of engineering and expertise, preparing for trains to return daily and contending with the elements too. We're now at the deepest part of the Severn Tunnel underneath the infrastructure. And there's particular conditions that this railway is exposed to that we don't see anywhere else on the network. We see higher levels of rail corrosion, for example, due to the salt content of the air, that the, the seawater, despite this tunnel lining being like 10 bricks deep in places, we still see seawater seepage into here. It gets salt content in the air. It adds to the corrosion that the rail experiences. And we appreciate we've got the railway blocked and it's an inconvenience for passengers for this 16 day period, but it is fundamental to the way in which we manage the infrastructure down here. And by the time we're finished, we'll see the entirety of this line through the tunnel renewed from end to end. This project is highly complex and years in the planning. The results will be a reliable route for years to come. But all involved know the challenges of keeping it in operation are constant. Well, let me show you something else. That pumping station over our shoulder is integral to the success of the tunnel itself it has been operating continuously since 1886 pumping out millions of gallons of water that would otherwise flood the tunnel now as we speak that work is continuing uh, to carry out the modifications we've seen in the report there it's due to reopen uh, next friday the 19th there will be some limited closures also later in the summer the advice is to check before you travel mike absolutely fascinating thanks for sharing that with us so now you know.